All right, guys, today we are going to be taking a look and talking about the Emerson Knives Bulldog. Now, this right here, like I said, is the Bulldog. And if you guys have known, especially this summer and this year as a whole, I've kind of been on a little bit of an Emerson kick for like the past 12 months. I'd say like realistically about the past 12 months because last November was when I bought my first Emerson, really technically two Emersons because the dude made me a deal that I couldn't refuse on two Emersons. So I bought my first two Emersons then and have been consistently buying Emersons ever since. So anyways, this is the next and newest one for me, and this is the Emerson Bulldog. Now, the Bulldog for, for me is a very interesting knife because I feel like um, there is its own unique design inspiration, but just looking at it initially, it gives me a lot of vibes, and it kind of is, to me, like just initially looking at it, it looks like the handle of a mini comm, like a mini commander, and the blade of a CQC7, or like a mini CQC7. That's kind of what it is to me. And honestly, initially, it kind of sounds like a weird mixture, but I actually really enjoy that because the handle shape and general profile of the commander or mini comm is probably one of my favorites from Emerson as a whole. Like it is a very, very comfortable handle to hold and grip in multiple different, you know, like positions and such. And it's also nice to see the, um, blade shape of something like a mini CQC7, where it's a very flat, straight blade with a tonto tip. Of course, you got your swedge. So it's this good mixture of, in my opinion, a tactical kind of you know, almost um, self-defense styled blade, but with a very utility or utilitarian emphasis. So this very straight blade is going to be able to do a lot of your general purpose cutting, push cuts, all that kind of stuff. And then of course you have that tip for if you need to roll over and you know hold it in some like a reverse grip for potential tactical situations. Now, is that the most practical and realistic use? Maybe, maybe not. But either way, it makes for a really cool looking fusion of a knife. Now, in addition to, it's also worth noting, you guys probably can see as opposed to the straight up black um, kind of coating on my Emerson Minicom, and of course the non-coating on some of my other Emersons, this one takes advantage of one of their newer coating or finishes, and that is the Thunderstorm finish. I believe it is Thunderstorm, Thunderstorm finish. I think it is what they call that. And basically what it is, is a black DLC coating that has been stonewashed. Um, so it gives you this kind of like rugged kind of used look, but still that kind of dark DLC coating. So very cool. I think it's very unique. It's um, one of those really cool coatings that I'm not really sure, you know, it doesn't really add a lot to, you know, like being low vis because if you guys know DLC coatings are still very shiny. So you can see that as this moves through the light, certain angles, it almost looks like the blade doesn't have a coating at all, but it does in fact have a coating and it does in fact have or bear that um, mark. Uh, I'm trying to remember where it is exactly on here, but it will say uh, up here where it says Bulldog. It says Bulldog TF, and the TF stands for Thunderstorm Finish. So anyways, this is in fact a finished model in that regard. So anyways, aside from that, um, this is like I said, my kind of first impressions on it. I haven't really got the chance to use it too much. I have cut a few things with it um, and I have been enjoying it so far, but I'm going to do more of a you know long-term use video on it. I just thought I would do this uh, kind of video now talking about it because it's cool. It's uh, something that, you know, gives me the fizz and I personally really like it because I, I enjoy especially this kind of smaller, um, almost miniature Emerson kind of setup. You guys can see here, um, <clears throat> with the Minicom and the Bulldog here. Um, you know, these are smaller knives, of course, both of them miniature, but when it comes to miniature knives from Emerson, Emerson tends to, with their full-size knives, they tend to run a little bit larger. So with a lot of their, you know, mini knives, they're almost like more pocket-friendly kind of blades that are a little bit easier to carry. So for instance, this is a, pull this guy out here. This is a full-sized commander and you guys can see that this is like a 
you know, bigger, I would say a lot of people would probably think, you know, a bigger EDC knife. So this is, um, you know, a nice balance, I would say, something like the Bulldog for a more pocket-friendly EDC knife that you're going to be able to properly um, enjoy and it's not really going to make a huge impact on your pocket. So very pocket friendly and that's kind of the core of that. So anyways, that is my first impressions on it. Of course, basic rundown of the Emerson Bulldog. It is made in 154 cm. Take it or leave it, like it or not, you know, that is Emerson's style. They do make all of their knives still in, you know, 154 cm. So that is you know, once again, take it or leave it, like it or not. Of course, it is black G10 handled, and of course, it is a chisel ground knife. Now, this one, unlike a lot of my other Emersons, I believe actually all of my other Emersons have a V ground chisel. So what that means is, and I'll show on this guy real quick, a V ground chisel just means that you still have two grinds. So your you know, physical grind down to the cutting edge and your physical grind down to the cutting edge. And then one side has a bevel. So that's how this Emerson Minicom is. It's how pretty much all my other ones are. But um, this one, once again, similar to the CQC7, it is a true chisel grind. So that means that there is absolutely no grinding on the um, non-show side. It is just completely flat and bare. So all of your work is on this side. So you have your grind, your bevel, all of that is on this side. It does conversely also, by the way, make it look very weird because I can promise that this knife is in fact centered in the handle. It just looks off center because the whole of the blade is ground to one physical side of the blade stock. So it looks like it is an off centered knife when it is in its closed position, but rest assured it is not an off centered knife. So anyways, that is my Emerson and Bulldog and my first impressions of it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and taking a look at it. Once again, I'm going to do a more in-depth review of it and what I think of it um, as I get into it and use it more. So far, I think it definitely is very promising. Of course, true chisel round knives are always gonna cut a little bit weird because once again, you're not pushing a wedge through something. You're pushing, well, you're still pushing a wedge, I should say, but it's just an offset or kind of lopsided wedge through objects. So it's a little bit interesting in that regard, but it is cool, definitely a neat knife and pretty excited to have it in the fold. So anyways, guys, that is the Emerson Bulldog along with some of my other Emerson knives. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.